This video is one in a series of videos covering how to make a car body for automation, the car company tycoon game, from start to finish. In this video, I will discuss how to do shape keys. Before I get started, however, it's important again to make backups of your car bodies. Always make copies of your bodies before taking major steps moving forward. That way, if you mess up, you've got a saved version you can easily go back to. Now we can begin our shape keys. This step will involve multi-object editing, which I made you familiar with in the seams video. I will select the first variant, and under the Object Data tab, with the Shape Keys menu expanded, I'll add two shape keys. The first key represents the resting state for the body. The second key will be our first morph, so I'll give it a name. In this case, it will be Hood, as I intend to create a morph that will change the slope of the hood. Now, I need to repeat that step for each variant. Note that I can do this entire process in Object Mode. An important note. Make sure you left the hood shape key selected after you created it. Don't reselect the basis key or any other key. Remain on the key you wish to edit. Now I'll go back and make all the bodies visible. Then I'll select one body, then box select the rest and enter edit mode. Now in X-ray mode, which you can activate by pressing Alt Z, I'll start selecting the parts of the car I want to be part of my shape key. Then I'll press Ctrl I, which will invert my selection, and press H to hide. Now I just have the hood and some bits that make up the fender. I'll make sure I have active element selected, and that I've selected a vertex near the edge of the hood as my active element. Then I'll use the shear tool and shear the hood. Now from top down orthographic view, which you can access by pressing 7 on the numpad, I'll select the front corners of the hood. I'll turn on Proportional Editing and make sure it's set to Linear. With a 3D cursor now as the active pivot point, I'll scale the hood in on the X axis a touch. Use the mouse wheel to make the brush larger or smaller as needed. Now let's tab out, make just one car body visible, and if I move down here to the value slider below the shape keys box, I can change the value of the shape key and morph the hood. I'll make the armature visible, and I'll pose the bones and see how the shape key and bones all interact with each other. I missed some of this on video, but once you're happy with the way your shape keys look, make sure to check that it's working on each body before you move on. I'm going to work on the next shape key now. This one will be for the windshield angle, so I'll just call it windshield, and I'll add that key to each variant I have. Like before, I'll make all the bodies visible, select one, then box select them all, tab into edit mode, and I'll select the sections of the roof that I want to morph. This time, I'll use the 3D cursor as my pivot point and use the shear tool from there to shear the roof forward. I'll move it a little bit and deselect the last edge loop, then use the shear tool a little more. I'll do that one more time. Now let's make the rest of the bodies hidden. I'll push the A-pillar bone back a bit, and then I'll extend the shape key by moving the value slider to 1. Now this gives me a bit of a kink at the top of the windshield. So let's make all the variants visible again. Select one, box select the rest, and enter edit mode. Now I'll select more of the roof again and switch my pivot point to bounding box. Now I'll start to rotate the roof a small amount until the windshield kink is straightened out a bit better. Let's hide the rest of the bodies and check it one more time. Mm -hmm. 
much better. The kink is gone with a normal morph, and is significantly less pronounced with the A-pillar morph back. I'll go through one last time and make sure the shape keys work on all the variants. This will conclude this video. If you found it useful, give the video a like and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this one as they're released. See you next time!